Hi everybody! Today I have another quick project to share with you showing you how I used more images from Crafty Secrets new CD that's shown here. So let's get started. As I mentioned earlier, the image and the background paper are from Crafty Secrets new CD. All I did was put vanilla cardstock in my printer, then pick the images I wanted to use and printed them out. You can make them any size you want them to be, but because my printer will only print an 8.5 by 11, I set my backgrounds to be 8x8, eight eight, and it works just fine. Here I cut and embossed the background paper with my two flower dies. When I sketched out my card, I thought I wanted the smaller flowers on today's project, but I decided I didn't need them, so I set them aside for a later project, and only worked with the spiral blossom die. In the previous picture, I showed you two spiral blossom dies that I had cut and embossed, thinking that I would use them both on this card but they were too large for what I had in mind. So I cut one flower into three, rolled them up, stuck them to a 3D glue dot, rolled the top edges down, and set them aside till later. The large flower on the left, I didn't use at all. If you watched my previous video, I briefly showed you what the pearl pin could do. I love this idea. This pin will create pretty pearls that will hold their shape. So I thought, why not try and make the flourishes around the edges of this image 3D? And it worked beautifully. The next two pictures are pretty much the same. We changed the lighting so the pictures look a little dark. I just wanted you to see how pretty the pearl pen looks and the dimension is perfect. Here is what the pen tip looks like. It has the perfect point for perfect scroll work. Now that it's all finished, I just set it aside and let it dry. Now my card is starting to take shape. I used the basting stitch on my sewing machine and gathered up my lace. Then I selected the dies I wanted to use for my two backgrounds and cut and embossed them. To help the embossed design stand out a little more, I used the cloudy blue acrylic paint dauber to lightly brush the design. When I do this, I keep checking the color of my pattern cardstock to see if I need more color or if it's close. In this case, I think it looks pretty good. In case you haven't noticed, the Distress It All is probably one of my favorite tools, and I use it on almost everything. And this project, it's no different. So let's put it all together, and I'll see you in a few seconds. And that's it. Thanks for joining me today. I always have fun sharing with you. So until next time, bye now. <music>